Oh my, is that a puss in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? Oh hi, you may not know me. I'm Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Ramon420, host of Mr. Ramon420 Movies and Shit Show, coming with an exciting new episode of Watch Your Review. Now I know what you're saying to yourself. Chris, I've seen tons of Watch Your Reviews. Ah, but the difference between mine's and theirs is I know mine's shitty. <laughs> So why don't we sit back, relax, enjoy an exciting new episode of Watch Your Review. I'm gonna tickle your ass with my tongue. As you know, I'm well hung. Gonna make you laugh, wiggle and squirt. With just one push you'll say, ooh, that hurt. Tickle your ass, tickle your ass. What's going on out there, everybody in the internet world? How you doing? Uh, you already know who I am. I introduced myself at the beginning of the video. And yes, this is a new edition. I want to review the last time I did one of these was for Goose and Lord. I had to do one for this because it needed to be done. It just needed. So the mixtape I'm going to be talking to you about today actually comes from a good friend of mine, Ryan Ryan C. I want to call Ryan C. He goes by a few names. Uh, Ryan Havoc, Cinema Havoc, uh, Cybernetic964, which is his new channel. But he's been around for quite a few years, probably since 2009. And like his old channel, Ryan Havoc, there's probably 194 videos. And they're all really creative, and he's an incredible artist really incredible artist and probably about a year year and a half ago he made this mixtape uh, and at the time I think the only person that reviewed it was Tanner Obelis Tubak uh, as of right now I think uh, Aid was the next one that did it so I like to think I'm being known I don't believe my review will be as good as Tanners, but I'm gonna give it a fucking shot. Uh, yes, the mixtape is simply it's Cinema Havoc presents mixtape by Ryan Havoc. One of the cool things about it is there's it's actually you know he autographed it to me and it's number seven out of ten. It looks really cool. Uh, love the design. Looks like a European stamp seal of that's 18. Uh, so let's get to the video where I basically kind of go through it now. Unfortunately, I'm going to apologize. The video is going to be a little bit long. I'm terribly sorry about that. I want to try to get as much as I can. So let's start the show. The footage within the film you're about to see contains subject matter not suitable for anyone. If you're under the legal age of 18, do not watch this movie. You know, what you're about to see contains acts of real violence, death, sex, subject matter that should not be witnessed by those who are really offended or squeamish. I guess I shouldn't watch this. You've been warned. Enjoy the show. Brian Havoc. I think I will. Hi, everybody. Uh, roughly 100 times. Comes out. It's uh, January 22nd, 2006. Explosion. What the fuck? Holy, the guy was, he's gone! What the? Cinema Havoc presents. <laughs> Putting his elephant trunk up in another elephant's ass. Oh, he, he that truck went deep. It's deep. It's oh, that truck is really deep. That is, and oh, it took out a present. And oh, the elephant's a shitty dude. Oh, isn't that? Why would you? I can't I don't get it. Oh, video of a monkey eating its own shit. Why wouldn't it eat its own shit? Oh my god! The 
like he's jerking himself off. <laughs> wow. It's, it's happy. It, it, the monkey's being in something. Guy's tied up in a rope and he's jerking himself off. <laughs> Dude's sex me like... <laughs> oh! Shit! It's the scene from Goose Smoke with the woman had her hand up the dude's ass. Wow! I forgot about that. Whoa! There's a gay scene. Gay porn. U Uber gay porn. Got this one dude sucking a guy's dick off, and another guy has his hand up his ass like a meat puppet. And just shoving, and we're listening to Hulk Hogan's Real American. Why wouldn't we? Ooh, we're up to a classic PSA. Who's the PSA? Oh, the PSA PSAs with Pee Wee Herman. He's doing a PSA about crack cocaine. That's fucking hilarious. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine. So every time you use it. You risk dying. And every time you go to a movie theater and jerk off, you, there's a good chance that you may get arrested for jerking off in a porn theater, which just seems weird. <laughs> okay, now we're at a strange part of a... I don't know what this is. I'm not sure where it can be. It's a guy in a suit and tie, and he's rubbing some mud on his face and distorted camera, and then he put eyeliner both of his eyes and it's getting strange and he's and it's it's like an orchestrated nightmare what the fuck am I watching oh now he's smearing more mud all over and smacking I think this is an experiment to determine how much bath salt you can take if you found mud and a camera. It's working. I don't know what it is, but I can't keep my eyes off of it. It's a re this corona reminds me of broken and uh, subconscious cruelty, something that David Lynch would have done if he was bored with eraser head. This is he turned his mud into horns and there's powder and there's red and now it's a mask and now it's not now there's horse hair because you need horse hair I'm waiting for him to say I'm a pretty princess it is distorted it's strange I liked it and I so guess that's the end of it I feel pretty good <laughs> Oh my god! I feel free. Oh wow, this this is one of Tanner's Oglas Oglas Two Box uh, skits he did oh, years ago. And he said to me, I did this when I was on Salvia and I wanted to run the camera and see what happened. And this is the nightmare. I he, in his old skit he would play like three or four characters. And he's talking how he can move and dance. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> so, apparently this is what happens when you take Salvia. <laughs> it looks fun and psychotic. It just, you know, Speak it to a hand modeler. This hand model really loves her hands. Oh, I want to crack those fucking fingers one by one. Just so you shut the fuck up. My hands! My hands are the gift of God! Well, I'm going to break every one of your gifts. Ah, oh, Ryan was able to like do a nice little mixture editing of all the stuff you can put up their ass from Kusama. It's nice. Uh, the song's still playing and it's an autopsy. 
going on. Oh, going back to... Oh, he, we're seeing the music video. Oh, we're going back to the autopsy again. Ah, they're picking out all the good stuff from the, the body. Just like the bile and the intestines. Oh, the body's a mess. The, the body's just a hot mess. Going back and forth. I'm enjoying this. This is fun to watch. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Oh, now we come to a guy. Oh, he's got a big boil on the back of his, uh, on his back. It's like, it should be, I think it's back on his back. Oh, they poked it. Something squirted out. Wow. They, it's like a huge bump. Oh, and the, whatever juices came squirting out, got on the arm, and it was a white goo. Wow. That is a massive, massive hole. She, the, uh, the nurse, whatever, is, she had to cut a hole just to get whatever fluids up. And she's squeezing. Oh! Wow. It is, it is really like a white cream. She pushed pressure on it, and it's just... It, it looked like uh, uh, skim cream. It looked like skim cream. And holy crap, that is a lot. That is a lot of uh, pus that just build up. I can actually tell this is probably a moment where Tanner washed this and just. Bleh. Holy crap, I can't believe how much crap came out of the guy's back. That is impressive. No, I mean, I feel bad for the dude, but, but... Oh, it's a Nazi execution, I think. Okay. Alright, it's basically the uh, U.S. Army rounding up a lot of the Nazis and just blowing the brains out. This is fun! Who doesn't want to see a Nazi get shot? Come on! Oh, you're hearing some operatic music, and a guy look up to wow oh it's gotta mean any sparkles it's an any sparkles classic video where she just basically throws up on a guy and oh wow that she's rubbing his dick what the hell did any sparkles eat seriously she's like that she's playing She's playing with the pussy. She's got a piercing on it. That's a huge piercing on it. The dude's jerking off in her vomit. Well, he's kind of jerking off. Well, she's jerking off. She, she's jerking off. But apparently she she slapped the side of her thigh like... As if it was supposed to be... What? It's like a solid phone. You hear an operator music. When she's pointing to her cunt, it's like, you're gonna fuck me in here. You're gonna fuck me. And he's so filled. Oh, she threw up again. What the fuck did she have? So, mommy, daddy, how did you meet? Well, I was on a shoe and I mean, you throw up and your dad was there. And it was like love at first sight. Okay, this is a Japanese movie. There's two guys. There's two guys that are blurred. They're blurred out faces. The guys pointing to the side of the camera. It's like, let's look over there. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like they found one of the lookers. Oh, it's pulsating. It looks. It looks kind of like a uh, like a breast. I'm not sure what it is. They flip it. Oh, and it's like a pussy. It's like a portable pussy. Oh, it's like leaking out something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... Dude's poking it. It's all... Yeah, it's all gooey. And... Okay, look, they're, they just dumped some coke on it. I think some of the Japanese look at pussy and they think it's an alien creature. What are they going to do? One of the guys get closer. The, the pussy creature is open up. Look. Oh! Oh, that's a defensive mechanism. Just shout out Jizz. It just shout out Jizz. Okay, now we're up to a asylum scene. There's a dude 
who apparently has a lock, like a whole lock on his cock and balls. Yes, it is a huge padlock on his cock and balls. And there's a tube up his ass. Why is there a tube up his ass? I don't know why. Now the guy's got the dude in the get mask is lying down on the ground. And the mistress who looks like uh, Shirley from Laverne and Shirley, 50 years later. She has her leather vest open. She looks really nasty, like seriously. I mean, her tits are just dragging to her knees. And she gets on him, she gets to rape. She has a razor, she got, oh! 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 She's cutting his dick and balls! What? Oh! Did, she's cutting the dick and balls off! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! The dick and balls are being cut! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, she's unzipping her leather pants and she's cutting in more! Oh, oh my god! Fuck! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! She cut the dick and balls off! The dick and balls are on a plate! They're on a plate! Now she, she took off her leather boots and pants! You horrible, horrible bitch! I'm hearing music. Oh my god, it's this gold dust music. Oh. This psychotic bitch is actually playing with the decapitated penis and stroking it on her pussy. It is wrong to the tenth degree. Oh. Wrong. This is. Oh. Oh, and she's got the flabbiest moose slips. They're just, they're just like dangling, like, and she's happy, like, oh, I caught the something I caught of a guy's cock and dick. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and she's playing with her face. <laughs> oh, God, oh. The horror, the horror, this is, oh. I don't see a wedding ring. She's still single, guys. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Fuck you, Ryan. Fuck you. Done with the scene. And now for our grand finale. What's the grand finale? <laughs> Faces with fireworks, dumb fuck. Oh, thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me watch. That's the end of it. Well, that was it. That was my extensively long journey through a world of chaos. Ooh. All right, here's what I thought of the mixtape. Definitely some of the strangest shit I've, I've seen. There was one segment of the mixtape when I met, I, I go into long detail about the guy. You know, he's in a business suit and it just, it just goes from zero to bath salt. Shit crazy. Fucking insane. Uh, I would love to know where that came from. I would like to see that. That's just, just really fucking intense. There were some really great, nasty fucking stuff. Uh, stuff from Gusomo. Uh, shit eating. Puking up. There's a clip from Poultry Guys where the big man actually has explosive diarrhea in the bathroom. Uh, there's a racist commercial from Jello. Just, it's Asian. It's, it's offensive. It's, and like, mama bling jello to baby. Baby not too happy because baby use pork chops. 
Mama Bling, Spoon, it's, what the fuck? You know it's from the 50s and 60, 50s or 60s. It's just offensive. There was a couple more things. There was a girl that queeped, and there was a girl with a, you know, big ass, supple, actually, supple ass, took their pants off and back on. I'm not quite sure what that had to do with anything. Um, there's some stuff that kids should not see, and there's a reason. It's a mixtape. Some impressive stuff, some good editing, some good music. Uh, there were a few problems. Some of the segments took too long. Uh, the intermission was just, it's like, okay, we would get to the point. Uh, the skit with Tanner in it was also a little bit too long. It, um, it was basically the same where he, he was taking salvi and he just took, you know, put his dresses and outfits on and just saw what happened. I remember that video from a few years back. It was probably one of the first, no, it definitely wasn't the first uh, videos I was introduced. I, I still remember seeing Tanner and it's like, yeah, he should be, he should be seen by more people. Uh, there's a gorilla who just pisses in, you know, to the camera. That was, that was cute and funny. Uh, again, there was some incredibly sick, fucked up shit. Uh, people, there'll be some people that will throw up at it. I'm thinking a guy with a huge, I guess, pus bubble on his back. It's like basically close to his spine. A woman has to dig it and just, it's like a hand cream lotion that just, and it goes on forever. Um, there's a puke scene with Annie Sprinkles. I unfortunately said sparkles. It was sprinkles. It's Annie Sprinkles. Uh, the one, the one that got me was uh, the submission scene with the nastiest uh, dominatrix. Uh, uh, it's like your Aunt Hilda, you know, wanting to be your master. It's just fucking nasty and hurts. It's just her body was a wreck. And she takes a razor blade, a straight edge razor blade, and cuts off a guy's cock and balls. He was so wrong. I don't know if it was real or not, but it that made me squirm. You if you lasted this long, you saw my reaction to it. It is it basically what happened when I saw it gruesome of you know the hand up the ass and was bleeding. It's like what the fuck? So that was that was impressive. Um He's actually working on a next one. I would love to see that, just to see if he made any changes to it. I'd be impressed. Um, excellent work, Ryan. I'm going to be putting a link to Ryan's uh, YouTube page, Facebook page. Uh, again, he's a photographer. Get in contact with him. He's actually also a really good, I'm, I'm going to say a filmmaker. He hasn't done a lot of stuff, but he's done a lot of pretty cool videos for YouTube and his old channel and they're still up somewhere um, impressive uh, now again, as I said he's not selling these he's you know getting out to his good friends and I appreciate Ryan thank you for sending me this it was it was an incredible treat I really enjoyed this had a lot of fun it freaked me the fuck out and that's what I was hoping for uh, guys to you next time I'm not sure what the next video is but who the fuck knows? I'm just putting up videos right now. I appreciate your time. Uh, Till next time. Again, you're all fucking awesome. I appreciate that. You know how, what, however long you stuck around for this video. Thank you. You're all fucking amazing rock stars and you know metal horns and shit. Uh, Till next time. Rate, comment, subscribe, and don't drink the Kool Aid. Later. But deep down, baby, you love every inch. You'll go crazy. Captivity's a cinch. I'll own you all. You're great, baby.